You can run many of the macros you've created in Extra in Reflection Desktop without converting them to Reflection Desktop macros. Macros carry forward from Extra to Reflection, much as documents and macros do when you upgrade Microsoft Office products. We'll run an Extra Basic Macro in a Reflection Desktop session. First, we'll need to check a few of the Reflection Desktop settings to make sure we're set up to run Extra Macros. If you're upgrading from Extra, make sure the Extra Compatibility feature is installed. Then open the Reflection Workspace settings. If you're using the modern ribbon interface, you can access these settings from the File menu. If you're using the Reflection Classic mode, which is similar to the Extra interface, you can open these settings from the Options menu. Now we need to make sure our macros are located in a trusted location. Reflection does not open files unless they're in one of the trusted locations specified in the workspace settings. Then we'll set API and macro security. We need to make sure Extra is selected as a legacy API preference. This setting gives Extra preference for the getObject method used to retrieve API COM objects. Reflection supports multiple APIs but can accept getObject calls for only one type of legacy API object at a time. Extra macros are associated with the Extra Basic Editor. We'll use a simple demo macro called inline that just moves the cursor to the end of the line that it's on. Before we run the macro, we'll place our cursor position at the beginning of this line. Now let's run the macro. If you're using Classic Mode Interface, select Macros from the Macro menu. And then select Legacy Extra Macros and browse to the inline macro. Now we'll run the macro and you can see that it is completed successfully and sure enough, our cursor position is at the end of the line. If you're using the ribbon interface, you'll open the Run Macro dialog box from the Macros group and then use the same process to run the macro. If your macro is not working as expected, See Using Legacy Macros in the API documentation for a list of unsupported methods and other information. For new macros, you can use Microsoft Visual Basic for applications. This is the same technology used in Microsoft Office, and it provides a much more powerful programming interface with additional features not available in Extra. <music> Thank you.